In this video, we are going to see how to sandbox and analyze malware with Any.run. Any.run is an interactive online malware analysis service that allows users to analyze and research malware in real time. It provides a dynamic environment where users can run potentially malicious files and observe their behavior in a controlled and isolated virtual machine. We will see the basic functionality of Any.run, and then we are going to analyze malware samples inside Any.run Sandbox. Any.run provides a complete virtualized malware analysis lab, and we can avoid setting up our own malware analysis lab and installing a large list of tools. However, you need to have a business email account to sign up on site, and many functionalities are hidden beside the paywall. Now, let us see the site in action. Any.run keeps a snapshot of any malware analysis that someone performs. The user can share the analysis link which other users can browse and see the analysis. I have opened a malware analysis link of a Word document which was infected with Emotet malware through Macro. What Any.run does is that it creates a virtual machine and performs static and dynamic malware analysis on it. In the center, you can see the screenshots of the VM while Any.run was analyzing the malware. In the top right corner, we can see the details of the malware and VM. This file was run on a Windows 7 machine. We can see the hashes and the analysis time. We can also see some of the keywords that define this malware. Here it mentions Trojan, Macros, and Emotet, as this has identified this document as part of the Emotet malware family. On the bottom of the main window, we can see different tabs. The first is the HTTP requests, where we can see all HTTP requests that our malware made. Many of these requests failed, but we can see a few 200 OK responses as well. We can also see the URLs that were contacted. On the Connections tab, we can see the processes that tried to made the connections and which IP addresses. Similarly, we have the DNS requests that were made. In the Threats tab, we can view the summary of threats Any.run found. If we move back to HTTP requests, we can also view the actual request that was made. And if we want, we can actually download it and make further analysis on it. Similarly, we can also download the PCAP file for network capture analysis. Similarly, on the left side, we can see the Files tab. Here, we can see the files that were manipulated by the malware. We can see the files being dropped and the nature of the files. We can also see the debug data if there is some. On the right bottom, we can see the process tree how processes were created by other processes, and if any of the processes flagged. We can also see that in a nice graph. The graph clearly indicated which process dropped a file, and when it was executed, and if there is something as flagged as malware. Similarly, we have an indicators of compromise option. This can be used to see the summary of important artifacts from the malware. For example, dropped files, DNS requests made, IP addresses to which connections were made, HTTP requests, and domains, etc. We can also generate a text report. Here, we get complete report about the sample and complete analysis results of the sample. Let us now see how we can analyze our own malware sample on any dot run. We can upload a raw sample on the size, but I would actually be uploading a zip file of the sample to avoid accidentally infecting our own system. 
but we may need to manually extract and run the malware. Click on the new analysis. Here we have two modes, simple and pro modes. In free mode, we are only allowed to run in a Windows 7 VM. In pro mode, we can also select other applications that may be relevant for our malware analysis, and we can also mention some command line arguments. The analysis will only be run for 60 seconds, so we must be quick with the analysis. Select our malware sample, and click on Public Analysis. Any.run will spin up a Windows 7 VM. We can see the sample in WinRAR, extracted on the desktop. Change the extension to XE and run the sample. We can see the analysis being performed. After 60 seconds, the VM will automatically stop. Now we can go ahead and see the analysis results. We can see the HTTP requests, connections made, DNS requests, etc. Similarly, we can also see the process graph, where we can see that it has created some scheduled tasks. So in this manner, we can utilize any dot run online malware sandbox to quickly analyze a malware.